Hello everybody, this is actually my first tutorial I'm recording in my new house. Thank you for being patient over the last uh, couple of weeks uh, where I've uh, been a little slack on getting some videos up, but hopefully we'll be a little more regular now. Um, and today we're going to be looking at encrypting files using GPG. Uh, so let's just get started. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor and just create a file. I'm going to say myfile.txt is the name of the file. In here, I'm just going to type, this is my file. I'm going to encrypt it with GPG. I'll save that file and I'll cat it out so you can see the file has been saved and that's what happens when we display it out. And uh, so now we're going to very simply use the program called GPG, which was already install installed by default on uh, my install of Linux Mint 9. I know I need to upgrade. Um, but if for some reason it's not installed on your distro, which I think it probably is by default on most distros, just check your package manager. I'm sure it's in there if it's not installed by default. Anyway, GPG dash c and the name of the file you want to encrypt say my file dot text could hit enter it's going to ask me to type in a passphrase i'm going to say metal and ask you to repeat so i typed it twice metal and now if we list we can see that let me do list here and i'll put an asterisk at the end here we have our original text file and then we have our encrypted GPG file, which I can cat out uh, the original file. But you see, if I try to cat out the encrypted file, it's just gibberish. Um, now, be careful doing this. If you forget your password, you're kind of screwed. There's uh, it's pretty strong encryption, so uh, just whenever you're encrypting, remember your password. Um, so, but as you see, it keeps the original file. I also want to point out, at least with this small file, it almost doubled in size. I doubt that if you have a larger file, it's going to double in size, but it may increase it some. It may actually make it smaller. I don't know. I haven't really practiced, tested this out on larger files, um, but uh, it does change the file size. Uh, but if I hit RM and I remove that text file, we're all set. We got rid of the original text file, and we uh, uh, have our encrypted file. Now, you send that encrypted file to somebody, or later on you want to access it. How do you do that? You just do GPG again, and the name of the encrypted file. And you hit enter, it asks for your passphrase. I'll type in metal. Hey, you gave me a warning message, but everything should be good. I'm going to hit cat, type cat. Uh, my text file, you see it created the my text file again. Now if we, so if I hit list here and I list out both those files, you'll see that both files are still here. We still have the encrypted one and the unencrypted one, uh, which we just catted out. Uh, so if we were to run that command again and try to decrypt it when there's already that text file, it's going to ask us for our passphrase and it says uh, that file already exists, you want to overwrite. At this point you can hit yes if you want to overwrite it, or you can hit no or just hit enter because you can see the capital N right here, that means that's the default option. I'm gonna hit enter here and it asks you for a new file name and I'll say my new text. So now I can list that out and you can see all three files here and it created a new file. That's simply encrypting files using GPG on a uh, Linux system. Uh, I believe GPG is open source, so it probably will run on Windows or Mac, but it probably, uh, well, I won't say probably, I have no clue. I doubt it's installed by default on Windows, Mac, maybe it is. Uh, but as I said, it should probably be installed by default on most Linux distributions. If not, I would almost guarantee that it's in your repositories. So that's encrypting files with GPG. I thank you for watching. I thank you for being patient with me uh, while I move to my new house. Uh, I'm going to get more videos up regularly, a lot more Blender stuff. going to be moving on to Blender 2.5 a little bit more. Maybe do some video editing, continuing with video editing from the command line as well, as well as Image Magic videos coming up. Uh, I did 
switch our forum over to a uh, new format where I host it on my actual web server rather than uh, off-site. Uh, but the link is the same, filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Uh, and please, if you have questions or uh, comments, you can put below. But if you have questions, please post them in the forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Uh, that way, not only do I have an opportunity to answer you, but uh, we can start creating a community where your answers, your questions get answered faster because there's a lot of people looking at them. Because I am, uh, I get a lot of questions every day, and I just don't have time to uh, answer them all. I read them all, but I, I just can't answer them all. So check out the forum, and also if you need an answer right away, there's a handful of very intelligent people that have been hanging out in our IRC channel. It's on Freenode, and the channel is Films by Chris. Um, if you don't have an IRC client available with you, we have a web-based one set up at Films by Chris forward slash IRC, uh, lowercase IRC. So uh, I thank you once again for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com, and I hope that you have a great day.